COVID-19 has changed the world we live in, perhaps more fundamentally than we could ever have foreseen. The emerging new challenges connected to the rapid spread of pathogens creates an unprecedented need for antimicrobial and antiviral materials in the medical field. Everyone in the scientific community was trying to be positive and bring stuff to the table to mitigate different parts of it, right? So this research kind of, the whole idea started there. Um, can we actually do self-sterilizing surfaces? Uh, the first thing to thought about was definitely face masks and so on. So what if we don't only stop the aerosols from our breathing, but also deactivate that because that will make it even safer. Researchers at Aalto University and VTT began to envision a self-sterilizing solution for disaster areas with no electricity. If you think about conditions where you don't have access to this kind of electricity sources, let's say war times, a uh, big uh, earthquake, something like that, you need to provide um, healthcare services, right, uh, to treat people but you also need to make it very sterile anyways. So the whole target was to develop this kind of cellulosic materials that were able to self-sterilize just under the sunlight. And then afterwards, in the, it's biodegradable, so we are not using uh, plastic sources, etc., etc. The team is using dyes and wood-based materials to create a hybrid self-sterilizing material. This project consists in two main components, right? First, the cellulosic material that acts as support that you can use as itself, as an individual self-standing film, or you can just coat any surface that you want to use. And then on the other hand is these dyes that what it does is absorbs light sunlight or like a specific wavelength and then turns the oxygen that is present in the media into reactive oxygen species like for instance peroxides and this oxygen is the one that kills the bacteria. A crucial part of the system is making sure the dyes and the cellulose are well bonded. The Solar Safe team at VTT has developed the chemistry between the dye and the cellulose. The most challenging phase for this project was to find the suitable strategy for the conjugation. So since we had quite many components and different type of materials, um, so it was quite challenging to find the suitable conditions for the reactions. Since nanocellulose is, is quite hydrophilic and then we tested these photoactive materials that, that were mo more hydrophobic it was challenging to find the route that these two can uh, match together. So in SolarSafe project, we used both physical and covalent strategies to, to combine materials together. So uh, physical absorption, we just used uh, electrostatic interactions for positive and negative charges to combine materials together. And with the covalent strategy, we used chemical uh, groups to con conduct carboxyl groups and amine groups together in chemical reactions. While initial trials were very effective against microbes, a problem surfaced. The economical feasibility of scale-up. If we want to scale that up and then use it in the kilogram scale, it's not really feasible to do it. We realized that we need cheaper and more sustainable methods to synthesize other dyes. The solution came during a coffee break where mechanochemistry was being discussed. Uh, basically we meet with uh, Daniel and Edu nearly every morning for coffee. We were just chatting about yeah, daily lab uh, things. And, and my background is in mechanochemistry and uh, Daniel and Edu are working on these dyes. Yeah, it jumped to my mind, hey wait, maybe we can combine both things and create something new. And it was kind of like lighting a fire under Daniel because he's this kind of enthusiastic guy and then he, he basically ran straight to the lab. So on the same day, within the next hour actually, we already started with the first experiment. And this is how uh, we developed this new solid state approach for uh, making uh, phthalocyanins. Mechanochemistry enables synthesis in lower temperatures and less solvents. Mechanochemistry is, uh, is that kind of reaction, chemical reactions where you 
melt together or grind together uh, solid reactants. And, and then the reaction is either just initiated or sustained by mechanical external force. So you, you, can, you can easily do it by, by grinding or ball milling. And uh, in these sort of cases, the uh, reactions go without the participation of solvents. And, and what's the benefit over then in solution methods is, of course, that you can avoid the cost of solvents, of the use of solvents or recycling of solvents and thus make much greener chemical processes. Finally, the new material produced at Alto and VTT was tested for its antimicrobial efficiency in Professor Santi Nonel's laboratory at the IQS School of Engineering in Barcelona, Spain, where Daniel spent three months thanks to the FinSeris Go Global funding. We used a, a radiation source that simulates the sun, and there we got a very excellent results where it showed that with standardized parameters we were able actually to be antimicrobial to kill everything after 30 minutes already. Normal biocides can be very effective against bacteria. However, many of these create resistance. While with this approach it hasn't, it hasn't been shown that there is any resistance at all. So we can just put it there and we can be fairly sure that there is not going to be a strain that is resistant to that treatment. The team will now continue to the next phase of the project. We are now developing uh, two different routes again because we saw potential in two different directions. The first one will be to then export this proof of concept photoantimicrobial activity to actual materials. So uses as a coatings and so on and then to really test it uh, as material itself, see how long the, the activity lasts, how much uh, light dose it takes until it fades out, all this, all this characterization. And then on the other hand, we are heavily developing now the mechanochemical synthesis of dyes, and we are exploring either post-modification of the same dyes or completely new families of dyes that hasn't been done.